Dr. Stephen Oponi averts that Justice Clemens Honyanuga, a justice of the Supreme Court, sitting with additional responsibility as a high court judge, stated in open court that the case has overly delayed and he was in a hurry to complete it in order to concentrate on his work at the Supreme Court. According to Dr. Opuni, the position of the judge makes it clear to him that he would not be giving adequate time to present his defense, adding that such an act is unconstitutional. In his opinion, this and other grounds stated in the application and upon the advice of his counsel makes him believe same to be true, that in the circumstances, the learned judge must recuse himself from the suit and refer it to the Chief Justice. Meanwhile, the National Communications Officer for the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Mr. Samuel Jemphy, who was in court with other party officials, told court reporters that the party is unhappy with the manner in which the case is being tried. Bear in mind that this is a criminal trial. Your liberties are at stake. As we're rushing this case for the sole purpose of concluding the matter quickly so that the trial judge can focus on the Supreme Court duties can have die consequences for the accused. Then there is the issue of um, some definitive, final, conclusive findings of facts that the judge made in his ruling on the application for submission of no case, uh, which in the view of counsel for the accused persons uh, predetermines the matter and uh, raises the issue of the likelihood of bias on the part. share the position or the opinion of counsel for the accused that by making that statement in open court, um, his lordship respectfully has shown clearly that the accused will not uh, have um, adequate time and facilities to, do, to, to prepare their defense as stipulated by Article 19 uh, Clause 2 E and G of the 1992 Constitution. Dr. Stephen Opuni, a former chief executive of Cocoa Board between November 2013 and January 2017, and Mr. Seidu Agongo, the chief executive of Agricult Ghana Limited, an agrochemicals company, have been to court since March 2017 answering to 27 charges of alleged illegalities that went on in some fertilizer deals. They are being accused of causing financial loss of 271.3 million Ghana cities to the state. The application will be heard on June 9, 2021.